Yeah. Yeah. From who? Government or everybody? Say, Cliff, why don't you let you over? Let's keep it warm for you. Grandpa, who's, who's uh, glasses? That's my glasses. Okay, take it away. Oh, yeah. Okay. Should, uh, I'm trying. See, it's right in my space. I got to draw. Is everyone relaxing before the cookout? Yeah, Steve, look at Grandpa. You could have been sleeping on the floor last night. Yeah. <laughs> That's Karen laying there. It's unusual. I thought it was either Andy or, or Cliff. Yeah, he's working house. So, anyways, he, so he wants this $2 billion. And he, he's got this house. I've seen this house before that he's building in the Rockies. And it's, you know, it, it's nice. He's got a lot of money. Who? And he said, You like that tree? It, it's an example of how he wants to get things done. That tree was 200 yards over there. He had the contractors jack it up and put it on a flatbed and put it at his house. And hmm. it was like, you know, a 150 year old tree. I thought. I'm going out to the Good idea. Steve, when they built the art museum, you know, there were some real beautiful, very exotic trees. And I never heard of them up at that time. Real bushy. They moved them from where the art museum site is over there on Scotland Avenue where uh, Libby's home was. But I don't know where they are at all. Because that was in. <laughs> was that a big park or something? Or they were well, there, there wasn't, wasn't built up at all, you know. But I mean, was it? I mean, why were the trees there, you know? Well, it was all open open land, yeah. Like, and uh, and somebody's house was there, too, that they moved to, to uh, for the art museum grounds. What about this thing in here? With, uh, Tell the kids about Uncle Eddie in the war. Is it, uh, it Mark? Yeah, if you put the page in there, goes to that. Yeah. What do you think about uh, Barry Bonds? Here's where Uncle Eddie is talking about the battle. New Saragon. See, I marked it with all this. We took it down. It tells, here's a discharge uh, uh, record. Where is this in here? It tells about it. Here. Yeah, he's like, look, this is it. What part of Europe? In France. France. In France. Uh, this guy who wins six or he seven. He can read all that. It's, it's, those are know, he's, That's he's, a copy of his. He just sounds. See, uh, he was like fakey to me. Divorce his wife and have that. twins. Uh, run around with Cheryl. It sounded right. like a movie star, you know. This is a duplicate because this was replaced for a lot. It sounded like somebody else mm -hmm. that. It went to his head. He got a little bit bigger than what he was. Look at him. He's wounded on my birthday. <laughs> How about that? Yeah. October 23rd, 1918. But he's he's wounded in both legs and the arm. Oh, and that, once? that bullet that hit his arm, broke his arm. You know, I don't know if the, those must have been rifle bullets that were be, being shot at random. And uh, for his machine gun, you know, they're like this. It, it, it hit two arms. It had to hit his body, too. I, I'm just yeah. guessing. And uh, the one that hit his, uh, broke his arm, well, Bill's got that shot, that bullet. Really? That's from a German uh, a Mauser. Wow. And it's flattened out from hitting the bone. Hitting the bone yeah. Is that the one who got the Purple Heart? Yeah. Good yeah, good we, we got the Purple Heart yeah. for him. And, well, they, uh, they didn't grant the Purple Heart it until 1932. Mm. Uh, uh, MacArthur, he said that, which they should. Does Bill have his uniform, too, from that chest? Remember, he had it's his It's still uniform. down there. I yeah. told him to take it. He's got that other, uh, you know, uh, military stuff. Yeah. Um, you want to hang that up? We're going to turn this thing. What are you thinking about? I, everything, I guess. I don't know, really. Hey, here come some people. Oh, good. Bob and Becky. And everybody parks in front of our house. Yeah, that guy. Oh, that guy that. takes up two parking Here comes spots. Here Yeah. Why does that big truck take up two parking uh, spots? That asshole Chris. He parks there and it sits there for three days on a weekend. Oh, he, he leaves just, it here over the weekend. Huh? He leaves it here over the weekend. Oh, he, he lives over there. Oh. Uncle Bob's mad because I took a spot. Sure. Well, no, he ain't worried about that. He can park in front of the garage. Oh, I think he's bringing stuff in. Here, give me your camera. I'll hold the camera. Okay. You can help him. Can you see? You can record. Oh, I don't. I don't want to. I'll screw it up.